<clears throat> Hello. My name is Kevin. You may know me from here from making these videos. Or real life, probably real life, because I have not posted any of these videos yet, so what the fuck am I talking about? Alright. So this is the last status I'm gonna read for today. Um, but this is the one I wanted to read from the very beginning. It's the money one. So here we go. I'm living in a culture obsessed with excess and the pursuit of happiness. The amount of excess comes from the void we try to fill. We attach inner emotions to external objects. Example, money, bigger house, nicer car, clothes. It may make us happy for a little while. And then like most things, we lose interest and it doesn't make us as happy anymore. See, logically, we want more because that means more happiness or happiness all over again. Logically, we want more because that means more happiness or happiness all over again. Think about that. But we've been fooled. We're looking in the wrong place. <clears throat> that happiness was always inside us. The happiness came from within. It always did. These objects are symbols that represent the tangible happening within. I wonder what could be said about another big word we throw around out there. <clears throat> so, I'm going to take it a step further and talk about this a little bit more. I am crying. Tears come out of my eyes whenever I'm really excited about anything. Um, it's just a strong emotion. You know, that's just what happened. I'm a very sensitive guy. <clears throat> <clears throat> and my throat feels like shit. So just bear with me. Okay. So it's a very Western thought to... It's a very Western thing to to attach happiness or the pursuit of it as if it was something to get, as if it was a goal, as if it was I earn the money and I buy the thing that it represents. You want the thing that represents, but what it represents is the achievement, though, the hard work. We want the destination. We don't really care about the journey. And it's not really the journey either. It's the traveler on the journey. You understand? It's not the journey. It is the journey, but it isn't just the journey. It isn't just the destination. It's the traveler on the destination, to the destination, on the journey. You change, you grow, you learn things. You learn to let go of certain aspects of yourself that are no longer beneficial. One of the things that we fall for is the illusion that happiness is out there when happiness is in here. Happiness lives here. You can make yourself happy. You want, you want to see this? Don't throw this to me. You know, I'll throw this up in the air and try and catch it. Woo! It's a lot of fun, you know, as I'm trying to I'm trying to catch this thing, you know? I'm trying to, I'm happy now. I'm, you can see I'm riled up now. I'm a little bit riled up. <clears throat> but is it this thing that's making me happy? Or is it the act, me doing it? It's coming from within. I, I can get myself stoked off of fucking this as I would be if I made a million dollars. You think not? So I'm gonna preface something that Tyler from RSD, one, Owen from RSD once said, uh, one of the, the seminars I went with him. At a hot seat. Um, <clears throat> what he said was most people, most people who who are on that search for, for happiness, 
This is how they look oh, when they when they get that big ass first paycheck that changes their whole lives. They go, cool. You know, they're like, awesome. Fuck yeah. That's it. That's it. That's their face. It, 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 it doesn't. There's no change. There's no physio physiological change. Like they're just, yeah, that's cool. They gained. They gained it. They earned it. You know, it's not. It's not like the happiness you feel when you watch your loved ones achieve something great. You know, when you work so fucking hard for something, you're on your grind, and nothing, nothing in the world exists except for the goal and the task. And you're on your fucking path. You're becoming better than you were. You're being better than you were. Every day you're better than you were. Then you're happy. You're just overall happy. And happiness is, in a sense, overrated. There are so many other emotions that you could have. You don't need to always be pursuing happiness. Happiness is within. You can get, you are, that is your birthright. Success. That holds more weight. Success is an effect. It's not a goal. It's what happens because you're on your grind, because you don't give up, because you keep putting in time, because you're obsessed with getting better. You're obsessed with making the fucking thing that you've wanted happen. You're putting in your time. You're putting in your dedication. You're putting in the work. Your heart is in it. <clears throat> that is why success holds a little bit more weight, in my opinion, to happiness. Successful people are generally more happy.